concerned about your health these past few days. It seems to be improving. I think it was great. You saw the reaction tonight, it was fantastic. People loved it. Um, it's, it's a beautiful, intimate space, so people got right inside the room, and that's what we wanted to do. The set used to look like a book, like it was like this. And we get to this theater and go, oh my God, what am I going to do? Because it's in the round, I mean, three quarters round. So I literally took the set and kind of broke it and broke it and broke it until it was almost a flat wall. So it looked like this, and Morris said, what would happen if it was on an angle? I said, I don't know. So he took a pair of scissors and cut it like that, and that then made the whole set go like this. And that's why the set is like that, because he took a pair of scissors to the model 15 years ago. And ever since then, it's been like that. People go, how can you work with the person you live with? But we live with our our art. You know, we're, when we're at dinner, we're talking about it. When we're, it's just, it's, I'm there when he writes the first words of the page. And I, I think I've killed many a show. He'll come home and he'll written 10 pages tonight. If I don't like it, he just throws it away. So I've, I bite my tongue sometimes, you know. Oh, I know you think I'm odd. Well, that was clear. The one and only time you came to visit. The one and only time. That outfit was my mother's idea. Marco is a very quiet, unassuming guy, and Olympia is a very forceful and strong and opinionated actress, and they make a great team. And I love working with them. They know each other really well. They've worked together on a couple of other projects, and. I think four other projects, and, and so they know each other really intimately. They love each other, which is very important for that play to for two people to really care about each other. And I feel lucky that I've become part of that love affair. Every time I walk into a rehearsal room and I look in her eyes, I, I know those eyes, you know, and and it's it's like it, it's grounding. It's like going home. I feel comfortable. I can do anything. I can make an asshole out of myself with her, and she can make an asshole out of herself with me. I mean, it's that kind of freedom. I'm usually a very talky, and, and I usually play parts where I, I'm the one that's pushing and... And it's, it's wonderful to be doing this part. It gives me a whole other way of breathing, just a way of being. A, I mean, I had to stop being so responsible. I had to just know that reacting and, and that what this woman does does not have to be muscular in any way. It does not have to be energized. I'm so used to playing parts that require that. And, and that was, that's, love, that's wonderful. I love doing it because of that. And I, I like doing it really with Marco. One of the things that I learned or was comforted by with Olympia, when I first worked with her, was she said, you know, it doesn't matter how much you've done. Every time you do it, you feel like you have to start at square one again. You know, and I thought, yeah. oh my God, she feels that way? Yes, I well, do. I fantastic. do feel that way. Yeah. So it's I'm not amazing. so crazy. You know? no. yeah. I had, I think, three days before Olympia showed up with Morris and everybody else. And I just paced around the room alone and got back into his skin. And then I think that first day we just kind of started. We didn't even sit around a table and we just got on our feet. And there are places, many places where he says, don't look at me that way. Why are you looking at me that way? Endless places where I had, and I still miss some of them, I, you know, it's like, Transporting, I never, I, I, can't, get, I can't get to that somehow, it's, it's transporting. But you know, he just goes it on, he just, he just, he says, there she is, just struggling okay, away, her. he just All goes right, on, he just goes on.